The time has come where having a typical 9 to 5 corporate job is becoming a thing of the past. If you haven't heard about the massive supply chain issue and the great resignation that the world is currently undergoing, then I highly suggest you take out some time to do some research on it and read up on it. It's really crazy. But basically, the last couple of years pushed people to start working at home, and this in turn caused people to start their own side hustles and even start their own businesses because now they weren't wasting all this time commuting. They had more time to spend at home and that means just more time in general to do the things that they really wanted to do. It allowed a lot of people to finally listen to and follow their passions and it also led them to no longer needing their corporate 9 to 5 jobs because this passion of theirs or this new side hustle or business they started allowed them to finally become financially independent. If you haven't found a business that you can start on your own yet, then don't worry at all because in this video, I'm gonna be covering seven different business ideas and models that you can start with no money at all or, or with very little investment upfront. Now make sure you watch all the way until the end so that you can watch all these business ideas and choose which one sounds most interesting to you. Number one on the list is to become a Pinterest or YouTube thumbnail creator. Now, now this by far has got to be one of the easiest ones, especially if you are creative at all or if you're good at graphic designing. People pay some really good money to hire someone on freelance websites like Upwork and Fiverr to create Pinterest or YouTube thumbnails for them. Now you might be wondering, how the heck do you get started in something like this? And the answer is to sign up for a website called canva.com. It's completely free and it's basically a web-based graphic designing tool that you can use to design anything and everything. It's what I even use to design a lot of my thumbnails. I know when I say graphic designing, it can sound a little complicated and intimidating to most people out there, but I promise you Canva is so intuitive and it's so easy to use that literally if you've never designed anything in your life, you can do this. It's actually a lot of fun once you get started. I use it all the time. As I mentioned, I use it to make some of my YouTube thumbnails and I've even used it for things like my daughter's birthday party or just random parties or events that we've been hosting. It's a great invitation creator amongst many other things. It's super easy to use, so check out canva.com, get familiar with it, and then list your skills up on Fiverr or up work and start getting some gigs. Now let's just quickly go on to Fiverr.com here. If you're not familiar with Fiverr, it's basically a freelance website where you can hire people to do various things for you. So if we go on Fiverr here, you can get an idea of how much people are charging to create Pinterest and YouTube thumbnails. So that'll give you an estimate of how much money you could potentially make. So definitely check it out, give it a go. Number two is affiliate marketing. Now with affiliate marketing, this isn't something you have to have now, but it will work best if you do. It works really well if you have some sort of audience on a social media platform such as on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. But basically, you partner up with different brands, so you promote their product on your social media platform using your link. Anytime one of your followers uses that link to purchase a product, you will get a certain percentage of that sale. It's like a commission-based model. Influencers and bloggers are doing this all the time. Anytime influencers tell you to sign up for some sort of a platform, or someone's like, oh, I just bought this sweater, check out this link on Amazon or ASOS or whatever it is, that's an affiliate link. Every time you purchase through that link, they are getting a commission. Some websites you can use to get started in affiliate marketing are the Amazon's associate program, commissionjunction.com, Impact, Digistore24, ClickBank, and JVZoo. You can also go ahead and join a private program where you will most likely promote a digital course. Now the upside of these types of private programs is that you can make anywhere north of $1,500 commission for just one sale. So as you can imagine, if you have some sort of an audience to promote this to, you can be making a lump sum amount of money and fairly quickly. You do typically have to pay to get into these programs. So let's say that you actually bought the course and then you can become an affiliate once you are actually in that course its program. So just keep that in mind. Number three is drop shipping on eBay. Notice that I didn't just say drop shipping, but I said drop shipping specifically on eBay. And that's because if you just do drop shipping generally, you will need to either get a website or you will need to join Amazon and sell your products there. And both of those will cost you a lot of money up front. Maybe not a lot, but it'll definitely cost you some startup money. Drop shipping on eBay is essentially free, and eBay only takes a small percentage when someone actually buys your product through them. Now, let me take a step back. 
what is drop shipping? Drop shipping is a business model where you sell a physical product online, but you never actually physically see or touch or feel that inventory. You don't have to buy it yourself. You don't have to store it. Say someone visits your online store where you're selling candles and they purchase one candle for $25. That $25 comes directly to you through your website. Now your website could be a Shopify store or it could be on Amazon. Now you will go and you will go to your wholesaler and purchase that candle for $10 on the back end. Your supplier is now responsible for the fulfillment and shipping of that product to your customer. So you don't ever see or even touch the product. The order literally goes from the customer to you. You submit that same order to your supplier and the supplier sends it out to the customer. You don't have to deal with any of the headache of fulfillment or shipping or labeling or packaging, none of that junk. And you just made a $15 profit on that sale. Because remember, you sold your candle on your website for $25, but you're getting it from your supplier for $10. So that's a $15 profit on just one candle sale. People do this all the time, and you probably didn't know this, but most of the products that you buy on Amazon are drop shipped. The easiest way for you to dip your feet into drop shipping is by doing it on eBay first. This way you can test out the products to see if they actually sell or not, instead of building out your own website, which you probably honestly don't know how to do, so then you're gonna have to go and hire someone to build out a Shopify website for you. And this can be pretty pricey if you wanna get someone good. Again, this way you can just sell stuff on eBay and take a larger profit margin, and you can pretty much do it for free because eBay just takes out a small percentage every time someone purchases. You don't have to pay to list your item or anything like that. I have done my fair share of drop shipping in the past. If you want a more detailed video on how to go about doing this, then definitely let me know in the comments below and I can set something up. Number four is starting a YouTube channel. Now this may take a little bit more work up front, but know that you can literally film and edit on your smartphone and upload these videos onto YouTube for free. You don't even have to be in front of a camera to start a YouTube channel. The earning potential on YouTube is massive and literally when it comes to YouTube, the world is your oyster. If you have a certain skill or a hobby or you have or you're very knowledgeable in a certain topic, then you can build your channel around that subject. And you can literally go ahead and monetize your skills and your passion this way. You can make money on YouTube through Google AdSense, through affiliate marketing, through brand sponsorships, and also selling merchandise. That possibilities really are endless. So YouTube is definitely a great one to get into. And if you think it's too late or the market is too saturated, you're completely wrong. YouTube is just getting started. So just take that step and do it. Number five is to sell digital products on Etsy. Notice that I said the word digital and not just Etsy products. And this is because you can create digital products for free and sell them on Etsy for free, minus Etsy's fee that they take out. Now let me elaborate on what I'm talking about. If you wanna sell handmade soaps on Etsy, that's great. But just know that you're gonna have to go buy the ingredients and the various products that go into this handmade soap. And you're also going to have to think about how to package this soap and how to ship this soap out. So you're gonna have to pay money for all of these things. Whereas with the digital product, you don't really have to think about any of that. You can just create something. You can just create a digital file and sell that on Etsy. Now let me give you some examples of what I'm talking about. When I say digital products, I'm talking about resume templates, party planner templates, goals templates, digital calendars, digital abstract art downloads. Now you might be saying, okay, that's cool, but how do I even make this stuff? And that, my friend, is where I'm bringing up Canva again, your handy dandy online graphic designing tool. That's the software, the website that I talked about earlier. You can literally join it for free and create templates in Canva that you can then upload and sell onto Etsy and make a killing. Canva actually even has their own templates if you take a look. So you can even use some of these templates and add your own touch to it. Don't use and sell Canva's templates, all right? That's not cool. Use their templates or take a look at them for inspiration, add your own tweaks and edits and your own touch to it and then sell those. You can make some serious money doing this because people are always looking for templates and they're always looking for ways to be organized. So definitely take a look into this one. It's really not that hard to create a template on Canva and it's much easier and faster than having to create an actual product and then worry about the costs associated with it and the shipping and whatnot. This way you can sell a digital product on Etsy 
and then the person can just download that file. The sixth business idea is print on demand shirts. Now again, this works really great if you have some sort of a following or audience in social media, but you can totally do it even if you don't have one. With print on demand shirts, you basically go on websites like printful.com or printify.com and you can upload a t-shirt design onto their platform. Anytime someone wants to buy your shirt, they submit their order and these websites take care of the rest. So it's kind of like drop shipping in a way where the order comes through you and your audience, but you don't really have to do anything. The back end, your supplier, the vendor kind of takes care of it all. They will print your design on a shirt and ship it out to your customer and you just get paid. And again, you can use Canva to design your shirt. If you haven't gotten the gist yet, you need to download Canva even if it's just for your personal life. And number seven, last but not least, is to monetize your skills. Every single person out there has some sort of good skill set. They're good at something. Even if you may not think you're good at anything, take a step back and talk to your friends and family. Ask them what they think you're good at. Or sit and reflect for a second and think about what do people come to you for? Do people come to you to edit their resumes? Do people come to you for certain advice and certain topics? Whatever it is, you can take these skills and start freelancing with it. Use websites like Fiverr and Upwork.com to showcase your skills and to get gigs. If you can get enough clients and some positive reviews, you can start making some serious cash and even start your own business or agency. For example, if you're good at being organized and staying on task and you like helping other people out, you can become a virtual assistant. And virtual assistants make a ton of money through these freelance websites and people are always looking for help. Maybe you're good at creating PowerPoint presentations. This is a hundred percent something you can monetize. The possibilities really are endless so really sit down and take some time. Even just write down in a notebook the skills that you have and what you think you're good at and what other people think you're good at and I guarantee you that you can come up with at least one or two things that you're good at that you could potentially monetize. Make it work for you. Good things are meant to be shared so share your skills and make money off it. Now if you got any value from this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you're notified anytime I upload similar videos. If you're interested in learning more ways on how to make money online, then I highly suggest you check out this video next. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video.